One week after the terror attacks that left 17 people dead in Paris, Western Europe is going on the offensive. More than two dozen people have been arrested in France, Belgium, Germany, and Ireland. Belgian police alone conducted more than a dozen raids after a firefight last night left two suspects dead. Charlie Daggett is in Brussels. The charred walls, shattered glass, and bloodied hallway. Aftermath of a fierce gun battle that left two suspects dead and a country on edge. Police were on high alert today. Despite more than a dozen arrests, police are still searching for three heavily armed suspects with links to ISIS militants in Syria. Some Jewish schools were closed. Government buildings were heavily guarded. At the scene of Thursday night's firefight, police said they found Kalashnikov assault rifles, explosives, police uniforms, and a large amount of cash. Belgian authorities stressed the terror arrests had no connection to the attacks in Paris last week that killed 17. Belgium is the highest per capita exporter of foreign fighters in Europe, estimated to be at least 300. Some have brought their fight back home. A number of the anti-terror raids took place in low-income suburbs like this one near Brussels. Bernard Clerfé is the mayor of Scarbeck, where half the population is Muslim. Why are so many people from these communities going to Syria? The rate of unemployment is higher, the social difficulties are higher for them. They don't feel to be a part of the society as everybody else. And they try yeah, to take a revenge. Today, the Belgian government announced it would give the army new surveillance powers, root out jihadi propaganda online, and strip terrorists of citizenship to try and prevent them from returning home. Of the 13 suspects arrested here, five have been formally charged with participating in terrorist activities. But, Charlie, that's just the beginning. Uh, the police agency Europol today estimated that they're dealing with thousands of potential terrorists. Charlie Daggett in Brussels, thank you.